Oliver, I want to find out what my life's purpose is, what my passion is. I really don't know what I want to do with my life, what direction I want to take, what, you know, what gift I have to give that's unique to give to the world. I see people who are uh, creatives, who are entrepreneurs, and I just don't know what it is that I actually want to do with my life as a career or even just as a passion that I want to pursue. And so that's the most constant question that I get, and I'm sure a lot of people ponder. I've pondered it, and it's an idea that we have this this thing that there's going to be this one perfect mission in life that is unique, that's there for us. And you know what? In a lot of ways, it's true. There is definitely a unique story and unique perspective in terms of where you're coming from and sharing your process and sharing your story and your growth is going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be intertwined in whatever art form you decide to, you know, put forth into the world. But the first thing that I would like to say on that, with that regard, is a sentence that you can probably ponder for days and days, hours on end, and have conversations about. And I probably mentioned it in past videos, but my coach Philip McCurtain says, we give ourselves what we feel we deserve. So I think when it comes to what your life mission is, what your gift is, what your passion is, do you feel that you deserve it at the core? I think that's what we have to look at. We have to look at what's going on at a deeper level, what's happening at the level of the self. Because I think in so many ways, we might not necessarily believe that we deserve to live our passion. How dare I think that I could live my passion, that I can do what I love, that I can spend time playing more guitar, writing songs, or painting, or writing, or speaking, or you know, building cars, or whatever my gift is, my art is, or whatever actually fills me as I'm doing and as I'm contributing it to society. How dare I think that I can even do that, or make a living out of it, or even just you know put time into it when I should be focused on you know making money, going to work, finding a better career, moving up in life, you know, doing all these things that society deems is a good life. So I think it's more about what's happening in terms of our self-worth. How do we look at ourselves in the mirror? What is our self-image? What's our level of self-esteem? How confident are you? Because before you start thinking about and looking at I need to figure out my goals, I need to have clarity on what I want and what I want to do with my life and what my passion is and I want to feel fulfilled, do you even feel like you deserve to feel fulfilled in your life? Do you feel like you deserve to be happy with what you're doing, with what you're contributing to society? And I think it's extremely important to stop looking at all this external, outer stuff and really look at what's happening deeper at the below the surface and that is what's happening inside what's happening in here so if you are really caught up in finding out what that big idea is for you what you're going to contribute what that unique art form is for you I'm not saying that you put that aside but for now maybe just sit with and question do I even deserve to pursue my art, to, to, to become a master at my craft, to improve the level of my speaking, of my guitar playing, of fixing cars, of engineering or building houses or you know doing fixer-uppers on houses. What, I don't even know what, whatever your idea is of fun, but I think that's where you need to look. Do you even deserve to have fun in your life? Philip McKernan, I could probably talk for hours on end about each quote that he puts forth. Do we give ourselves what we feel we deserve? And thank you, Philip, for sharing that amazing piece because that is something that I write down on the cover of many of my new journals just to remind myself that the things that I'm not giving myself, I perhaps need to consider that I don't necessarily feel like I deserve it right now. And there's something else going on in my level of self-esteem, my self-worth, my self-knowledge, my self-image for me to not have it right now in my life, or not be it in my life, or not be doing it in my life. So that's what I can, that's, and that's what I respectfully suggest that you consider thinking about 
pondering on and reflecting on, rather than jumping the gun and trying to take action, think first. Find out. This is priority. It's all cause and effect. You need to find out what the cause is for your lack of clarity, perhaps. So, that's what I got for you today. Hope you have a great one. Take it easy.